Once you understand how you can add context inside this application to create authentication, let me show you how you can change the value of the context variable. Now, what if I try to change the value of this auth variable? Right now, if I save the changes, reload the browser, and open my console, I'm going to have here false from this auth. This is because the initial value of this auth is false. Now, what if I want to change this value? Let's suppose that if I specify here auth is equal to auth true. And if I change this constant to let save the changes, then it's going to change that value. But if I try to access the same value in other component, let's suppose if I try to access the same value inside my login component, something like this, save these changes, you can see I'm going to have false again. This is because the store value is not actually changed. We change the variable value here. And this value is only accessible inside this component. What I want, I want to change this store value. So what I can do is I can call here use reducer to change the value of the store. So let's see how to do it. Let me get rid of this and get rid of this statement. And here instead of let, we pass here constant. Save the changes back to the auth. And at the top, right up here, you call use reducer. Use reducer allows us to create a reducer function which can be used to change the value of the store. So just down here, let me just create a function. So I'm going to first say here export function reducer. And this reducer is going to have two parameters. First is state and second is action. Using action, you can specify a value to this reducer function. Just out of that, inside this reducer, we specify switch case. So we call here switch action dot type. And inside this, we call different cases. So we call here case. The first case is for login. So if the user call the login action type, then I'm going to execute this first case. And from this first case, I'm going to return auth and the value is going to be true. So I'm just going to change the value of this initial variable when the action type is equal to login. Then I'm going to add another case. And this case is for logout. And if the action type is equal to logout, then I'm going to return auth false. The default initial state of this store. And then you also need to specify the default value for the switch case. So I'm going to say here default and then I'm going to throw and new error. So I'm going to say here throw an error. Something like this. Now just out of that once we have the reducer, we need to call this use reducer inside this auth provider. So what I'm going to do is right here inside this auth provider, I'm going to say use reducer and this use reducer is going to take two arguments. First is a reducer function and second is the initial value. As you know, we already have this reducer function. So we pass that reducer function as a first argument. And as a second argument, as you know, we have the initial value to the store, this variable. So we call here initial state as a second argument, something like this. And now this use reducer is going to return an array of properties. And from that array, we're going to get two variables. So I'm going to say here constant. In the array, we are destructuring two variables from this use reducer. First is auth and second is dispatch. First is the variable name and second is the dispatch function used to change the value of the store. So right inside this auth, we have the initial state value and using this dispatch function, we can change the value of this store. So now instead of this initial state, we can pass both these variables right here, something like this. And now I can call both these variables inside my component and change the value of the store. Let me just save the changes back to the global.js. And here, instead of just auth, I'm going to grab here an array of objects. So I'm going to add here an array and destructure two variables. First is auth and second is dispatch. So I'm going to copy this and specify that right here. So I'm going to dispatch two variables from this auth consumer. Now because auth consumer is going to return the use context and the use context is going to be the initial state of this application. That is why from this value, we are going to get 
both these variables inside this component. Just out of that, right down here, I'm going to say console.log auth and save the changes. You can see I'm going to get the initial state value as a response. Paste that inside this login right here. Save the changes. I'm going to have the same result. Now, just out of that, once you understand how you can get the value from the store, let's suppose that you want to change that authentication value and you want to change this unauthorized user status to authorized. What you have to do is you have to just call this dispatch function with this login case. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to back to the global.js right here. As you can see, inside this login page right here, if I open the login, I'm going to have this division tag with the h1 heading tag. Instead of just this h1 heading tag, here I'm going to say this is the login page. And then I'm going to specify here a button. And this button is going to allow us to call the dispatch function. Right now, I'm going to specify name to it, login. And then I'm going to specify some Delvin classes here. The class name is going to be first order, padding x5, bg indigo, 500, then specify text, gray, 50, and rounded. So I'm going to call all these classes to this button. So I'm going to have this login button inside this login route. You can see. Just out of that, when I click on this button, I want to call an on click event. So, right here, I'm going to say on click. When I click on this button, I'm going to execute the handler function. Inside this handler function, I'm going to call this dispatch function, this one. So, when I click on this button, I'm going to call this dispatch function. And what you have to do is you have to specify which case you want to execute when you call this dispatch function. So, if you back to the odd.js, then you can notice here you have two cases first is login and second is logout what i want when i click on this button i want to execute this login case so we call this login inside this parenthesis so here we pass an object specify here property type and then specify this login case this one something like this now because we specify action type this property that is why i call here a property called type and then specify value to it login so when this dispatch function call it's going to execute this first case and change the value of this auth variable and then it's going to return that value to the store and change the value of this initial state now let me save the changes and show you the result now when i click on this login button you can see now the status is true so now we have the authorized user inside this application now once you understand how we can authorize the user using this login button let me show you how i can call the logout button so let me copy this button right from this login and scroll down and open the dashboard right here. Here I'm going to call that button and inside this dashboard, instead of this dashboard component, here I'm going to say this is the dashboard component. And then I'm going to change this login to logout. And instead of this type login, as you know, we have this logout type. Let me copy this and specify that. So when you click on this logout button, it's going to change the initial state to false. Now, just out of that, what you have to do is you have to first call this dispatch inside this dashboard. As you know, we have this dispatch function from this auth consumer. So let me just copy this, specify that right here. But as you know, we are not using this auth variable inside this component. So instead of adding this auth, let me get rid of it and leave the comma as it is. Now, when I back to the dashboard, I'm going to have this logout button. Now, when I click on this logout button, it's going to change the status to false. Let me show you. If I click on this logout, you can see it's going to change the status to false. And we're going to have this status from this first home page console.log. Now, next, I want to add active links inside this application. So, let's see how to do it. 